So today we're going to be diving deep into Hotjar heat maps in order to understand why I believe they're one of the best website analytics tools for tracking user experience so you can design your homepage to get best results. So if you have any kind of website or footprint online, you're going to want to test this tool out, Hotjar. It's free, it's easy to use. And in this video, I'm going to showcase some heat maps and to understand how you can ethically spy on people who are visiting your site in order to actually get the best results for them and make sure they're navigating your website in the way that it is intended. So without further ado, I'm going to dive straight on into my desktop and show you around. So first of all, then you can either Google Hotjar or just navigate to hotjar.com uh, and it's just the website heat maps and behavior analytics tools. It, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So if I was to have a look at the pricing structure, this is why I love Hotjar. It offers quite a bit of analytics for you to have a look at for free. Now, yes, it only tracks up to 35 daily sessions, but if you're just starting out and if you wanted to understand the website that you've designed and built has a good user experience, then start here and actually track how people are interacting with your website. But by all means, if you wanted to go deeper and really geek out on this stuff, you could go and pay 32 euros for the plus, 80 euros a month for the business, or even scale with 171. And this is just everything you get. You just get more analytics, uh, you get more sessions, you just get more data to go with. But if you're just starting out, why not start on the free version, get started and then see how people are using your website, whether it's the way you want them to use it or not. So for me, I'm just going to go and sign in and you might have to log in with Google or log in with an email for your first time round. But this is basically the dashboard. This is what you see when you first log in. Obviously, when you first log in, you won't see any of this data. What you have to do is navigate up to, um, it, it will walk you through a setup wizard. But basically, if you go into integrations, if you come back in here, and then if you go to user attributes, all you need to do is select a domain that you already own. So I own timpeekman.com. And then all you have to do then is copy this page script here. It's a tracking code to then put on your website. Now, I use Kajabi. If you followed any of my stuff online before, I use Kajabi. Just as a side note, I am a Kajabi partner. So if you like the look of Kajabi as I walk you through this, I can get you an extended 30 day trial. Just head to timpeekman.com forward slash Kajabi. And I've got some awesome bonuses there for you as well. But as we have a Kajabi account, we go into settings. And then in that settings tab, we then go to site details. Super easy. We then scroll down all the way down to where it says, um, it says page scripts. And once we copy that tracking code, you just paste it into this header page script and then click save. Once you've done that, Hotjar can then track across all of your website pages. So this is my main homepage. This is all built with Kajabi and every user here up to the first 35 sessions, they are tracked how they use my website behavior. But we'll go into a little bit more detail here. So here the site overview, you can see that number of sessions, the average session duration, 12 minutes 53. That's that's pretty decent in my opinion. The average pages or the sessions, five pages, but then I've got a bounce rate of 50%. This means that, that people don't come back, like half of the people don't come back to the website. So my top pages that have been visited, obviously my domain is one of the most visited, 141 sessions over the last 30 days. But then timpeekman.com slash formula, I've just launched a program, my content to clients formula. That's had 99 sessions. What I want to do now is just click play. This is a bit of a recording, a bit of a snapshot of how people have interacted with my, my sales page. So it's really important to get an understanding of how people are interacting with your online profile, your online page or homepage. This is one of my sales pages and these are people just scrolling through it. I've had a number of people who have enrolled into the program, but it's just an, a good idea of where these people have come from, how they're interacting. As you can see, there's people, most of these users are on mobile, uh, one from the US, one from the UK. Um, this individual is obviously on desktop. This is how they interact with your sales page. So you can just have a look, see they're playing the video, they're scrolling down, they're seeing everything on the page and they're clicking on certain buttons. So it's really key to get an understanding of your user behavior in this way. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my dashboard here. So I'm going to go back into Hotjar and then I'm going to click on heat maps. So as soon as you click on heat maps, this data is so powerful. First of all, it's going to give you a quick overview of a color coded system of your homepage. Now I've covered this before. It's really key to have a call to action above the fold. So as you can see here, this is 100% of the people have seen this top half of my page. So this bit here, 100% of the people that land on this will see that, obviously. But then if you have a look at how many people scroll down, only 66% of people scroll down this far, 54% of people scroll down, and 50% actually make it to the bottom. So actually people scrolling all the way down your homepage, only half of them do that. So you've, it's really key to have some sort of message, call to action above the fold so people can actually start for free, opt in, contact you, whatever you want them to do on the homepage, put it all above the fold. So another thing here, you can come down here and click on all clicks. Now this is going to give, again, this is a free account, so I'm only going to get limited data, but this gives me a really good snapshot on a heat map of where people are clicking. So people are clicking 19 clicks, 21 clicks, 19 clicks and 14 clicks. So people are actually clicking here the about page, the blog page, so mainly the blog page. And then if you wanted to see a little bit more information, uh, you can obviously scroll down. People are clicking all over the page, but mainly they're putting their email address, they're clicking the call to action buttons. If you found out that uh, you had some heat map source data here, they're trying to click a tile that actually doesn't go anywhere, then you might have to think or have a look at that user experience and maybe redesign this homepage so you've actually got clickable buttons where you can see people are clicking. That's how you want people to react or interact with your homepage. Then you can see how people move around your page. It gives you another heat map like that. Uh, and then you can click on highlights and it will give you like your, your top highlights if you go to clicks. And then your, your top three clicks here, it will give you like, this is your first, this is your second and third. So if you wanted to position something, just note that these clicks up here, anything you put in the breadcrumbs or the navigation bar here, they're actually, they have got the most clicks in my homepage. So armed with that information, then I can actually scroll up to the actual URL and just put in blog. So I know people are visiting my blog and then I can just go through again this heat map just to see how people are interacting with my blog. So a lot of people are clicking read more. They wanting to actually read the full blog. This is my blog search. People are actually typing into the search bar here. People are actually clicking on my workshop. And again, they're using the navigation to click back to my homepage. So from what I can see here, again, this is only a quick snapshot of a free account. People are interacting with my, my homepage and all the different type of website pages that I have in the way it's intended. If I saw that they were starting to click on some of my banner titles or some of these tiles that don't go anywhere, I may have to redesign my homepage so I get the best user experience. So there we have it, a quick review of Hotjar heat maps and how you can actually use a free account from Hotjar just to see how people are interacting with your homepage. Now, Hotjar is one of the tools that I use in my online business. It is a free tool, so I love free tools. But if you want to get an idea of all of the tools, free and paid, that I use in my online business, I have a free checklist for you. It's a downloadable PDF. Just head to timpeatman.com forward slash tools. You can download your copy today. Have a look through some of them. You may be using others. You may not, but it may spark you some ideas on what you could be using to build an online business, selling what you know to anyone around the world. That link once more, timpeatman.com forward slash tools. Grab your free copy today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.